Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this lecture we will be studying the ground reflection model. We have seen reflection by now and we understand that whenever there is a waveform that is getting reflected through certain surfaces, then there is some energy being transmitted through the material and some getting reflected. Here we will be studying what happens when the waveform gets reflected through the ground. So, in a line of sight scenario, it is very simple that the communication takes place between the transmitter and the receiver. But in this line of sight scenario, if the distance between the transmitter and the receiver increases, then there is some part of the waveform which gets reflected to the ground and then gets received at the receiver side. Hence, the ground reflection model takes place an important part in this communication. This reflection model is extremely useful in understanding the large scale signal strength over several kilometers. Because over several kilometers, there are multiple points through which the waveform will get reflected through the ground. Here, the assumption is that the transmitter height should be greater than 50 meters. Let us consider the diagram over here. Here, I have a transmitter and a receiver and both are apart certain distance. But let us consider a case where the transmitter and the receiver are not having much distance between them, means they are very close enough to each other. If this is a scenario, then line of sight is the only propagation path through which the electromagnetic waves will travel. But since I have increased the distance between them, there is some part of this transmitted wave which is getting reflected through the ground. Here we see the transmitter height as HT and the receiver height as HR. So, there are two waveforms that have been seen. First is the ELOS which is the line of sight through which the electromagnetic waves is traveling. Second is the incident wave which is getting reflected towards the ground and it is getting received at the receiver side. So, what we are finally interested in is the equation that is written near the receiver which is called as a E total. This E total is nothing but the reflected waveform. This E total is nothing but the line of sight waveform plus the reflected waveform that we are receiving. So, at the receiver, we are going to receive the total or a combination of both of these. Here, let us consider another diagram. As we can see, I have extended the waveform towards the ground which is getting reflected. So, it is as good as that there is waveform that has been generated from the ground. But ideally, there is a waveform that is getting reflected towards the ground and then reaching the receiver. In this case, there are two paths as we can see. One is called as D dash, one is D double dash. So, this diagram is nothing but coming from the method of images which says that there is an equivalent source that is present below the ground which is emitting the waveform. This waveform is nothing but the waveform that is reflected from the ground surface. So, if I want to know what is the exact value of the received signal that I am getting, I will have to calculate that value. And how do we calculate? Remember we have two paths. The first one is the D dash path and the second one is the D double dash path through which the waveform is getting transmitted. So, the path difference is calculated as delta which is given as D dash minus D double dash which is equal to root of HT plus HR the whole square minus D square minus root of HT minus HR the whole square plus D square. So, these HT plus HR and HT minus HR are the relative heights of the transmitters and the receivers. Eventually, delta is given as 2 HR HT upon D. The phase difference is given as delta omega C upon C. Finally, we have time delay which is given as TD which is delta upon C. This is given as theta delta upon 2 pi FC. Finally, we have the received power which is given as PR is equal to Pt, Gt, Gr, Hr square, Ht square upon D raised to 4. So, this is the received power that we are receiving. Remember, we cannot do much with the gains of the antennas. That is, we cannot drastically change the gains of the antennas. But what we can do in order to receive better power is we can adjust the height of the transmitter and the receiver antennas. So, this was about the ground reflection model. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.